everybody, this is Emma and Sam from Podopedia and we're going to make a really quick video today about gout. Yeah, gout is a really, really nasty problem. Um, basically, in the foot, it normally occurs around the big toe. In this area here, this joint. joint there. And it causes red, hot, swollen, super painful, can barely get your shoes and socks on. Right. And it can just sort of come out of nowhere. You can just wake up with it one day and you're in agony. They call it an attack of gout and it really is that. Um, people describe this pain to us when they've got it and it's a 10 out of 10, you know, it's not just sort of like a, oh, a bruised feeling, it's a se really severe mm. nasty pain and you get this real redness, angriness sort of around the joint affected. Having said that though, it doesn't actually have to affect this joint, it most commonly affects the big toe joint but it can appear anywhere in the body. So what is gout? It is a build up of uric acid in your blood and then with this high level of uric acid in your blood you can get crystals forming around joints so the best way to diagnose gout is using a blood test yep definitely clinical presentation is quite is sometimes for, for a skilled clinician you can tell what it is when you see it mm -hmm. quite often but yeah a blood test will show your urate levels if you have known to have gout as well then you should get your urate levels checked occasionally just to keep on top of them and you'll probably be on a medication from your doctor um, allopurinol is a common one used to control the, the urate buildup in, in your blood. Yeah. Uh, so, how can you help yourself? Well, often people uh, with gout as a, as a diagnosis will know all about this, but a, a good um, diet with, that's low in purines, so purine rich foods might include, uh, well, certainly alcoholic beverages, I'm afraid, um, but also uh, shellfish and, and liver. There's, there's a whole load of so fish pop, and meats, yeah, even absolutely. some vegetables that yeah. surprise you yeah, sometimes. Spinach so. and mushrooms, apparently. Yeah. So you, you want to um, get some advice from a, somebody who's, who's um, qualified to, to talk to you about diet and make sure that you have a diet that's low in purines. Drinking lots of water as well is something that yep. can help. Stay hydrated. And if you are having an, an attack of gout from a, a very sort of simple perspective, flip flops, open toe shoes are a bit more comfortable for a few days while it's really bad. Um, and the key is as well that when you do get one of these attacks, it can last you know, the best part of a week quite often. And it's almost this, a lot of people the first time they have it just do not know what it is. They think they've broken their foot or they've maybe got an infection. So if you're having pain, try and get to see a podiatrist as quickly as possible for a diagnosis or alternatively see your GP. If you're someone who's prone to gout, make sure you keep check of your diet, keep check of your urate levels to try and stop this becoming a regularly occurring problem. I think that's about everything I on gout. I think that is everything, yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, just click subscribe below. If you want to find a podiatrist, you can do that at podopedia.co.uk. Have a look at gout as well, there is more information on there, the page on there as well. Cheers guys.